guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the shop. Well, the home shop here. Uh, it's actually really, really cold here in Chicago right now. Record-breaking, historic low temperatures, negative 22. And tonight it's getting to negative 28. That's actual temp, not with wind chill. It's actually negative 50 with wind chill. But uh, for our experiment here today, we're concentrating on the real temp, negative 28 tonight. So what I brought home was some conventional and full synthetic oil. It's just a little demonstration of how it looks and how it flows inside your engine uh, when it's these kinds of temps the vehicle sitting out overnight and you're going to start it up in the morning it gives you a little bit of an idea of how thick it can get and why you want to heat up your engine when it's this cold out and uh, the reason why you want the oil to flow before you put any kind of load on it so we're going to go over to the bench here show you a few things and we're going to start the process tonight getting it cold let it sit out overnight and we're going to retest and do the same test in the morning all right, let's get started. Now, the very first thing I wanna mention is that this little lab experiment here is just for demonstration purposes only. I know it's not very scientific, but it gives you a very good visual of what's going on inside your engine when it's this cold and you're starting it up with the conventional oil versus a full synthetic. Now, what I'm using is a Penn's oil, it doesn't matter what brand though, regular dyno oil compared to a full synthetic, okay? So what I have here is the two cups poured already. And I have them marked because if you take a look at them, at room temperature here, 60 some degrees in the shop, they move about the same. They look the same, okay? Uh, but they're definitely not gonna flow and look the same when it's negative 20, uh, negative 28 degrees in the morning, okay? What I wanna do now is just give you an idea of the temperature of the oil. About 63 degrees, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tops on these travel mugs here, and we're gonna pour them out into each one of these glasses right here so you can see them. And we're gonna pour it, and we're gonna kind of pressurize it through the sip port here to kind of uh, mimic uh, oil pressure feed circuit in your engine, okay? How, it, how hard it is to get through there when it's really, really thick. Right now, of course, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a difference, uh, but in the morning, we're gonna see a huge, huge difference, okay? Oil getting to the top of the engine, to the cylinder heads. So let's try this one first. A little squeeze without popping off. You can see the conventional, it flows kind of like maple syrup. Maybe a little bit thinner. Okay, now let's compare that to a quote unquote full synthetic at the same temperature. Flow is just a little bit better, closer to flowing like water. Comes out real, real nice. So what we're gonna do is uh, do is the same exact experiment um, in the morning when these two cups have sat outside overnight. We're gonna dump these back into there, let these sit outside overnight when it's negative 20, negative 28 degrees. We're gonna re-temp gun them, and we're gonna redo the pour test, just to show you guys how bad it can get at those temps. All right, here we go, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. The cup's been sitting outside all night long, and uh, we're gonna go out there and check them for temp first, and then we're gonna bring them in and do the pour test uh, once again, just to show you guys how thick it can get in these kind of temps. Let's go outside and check it out. Now it's a little later than I expected, but um, it's probably negative 10 outside right now. Um, so it's not as cold as it was last night. These are negative four, negative five. So it's still pretty darn cold. Let's bring them inside and do the test. I just brought them in. Let's take a look before we put the tops on and do the pour test. So this is conventional. You can see it's definitely cloudier and doesn't move so well, okay? Not the worst thing in the world. And this is full synthetic. You can see it moves much, much better in these cold temps, okay? And it's clearer too. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze and pour them out. What I'm going to do is cap them and we are going to just tip them and pour them into these glasses right here. And we're just gonna kind of watch them pour out in a slow, controlled fashion, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So let's start off with conventional. See if this works. And then we'll do the same thing over here with synthetic. Keep these kind of 
watch them there. You see how much thicker it is coming out of the other side here. See how it kind of twirls when it lays down? And this one's kind of go, 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 gur gurgling out and flowing. You can see the difference there. You see a difference? Now I'm sure the full synthetic side would definitely be done before the conventional side even though there's more in the uh, full synthetic uh, jug. Look at that difference already. We put it on probably three to five seconds later. So yeah, this one's much clearer and this one's definitely cloudier. Also, this one's still flowing. And this one, it's just, I mean, it's just kind of pouring out of there really fast. Just gurgling out. Or this one's kind of like a syrup, see that? See? That's the difference, that is the difference. And you gotta think about it, which one do you want in your engine in these cold, extreme temperatures like this? It's gonna act just about the same here when it's you know 20 uh, to 30 degrees like what we see just about all winter long in most of the northern states. Look at that one full already, look at that difference. This one's still blue. Blue. Let's see, we've got quite a bit left in there. I mean, it's still pretty heavy. And let me check this one since it's going to overflow here. Like I said, this one's more filled. Look at that. Comes right out. No problem at all. And that's going to flow real nice in your engine, even at these crazy, crazy temperatures. So, now the other thing you got to realize this is clean oil. Once you start getting all those bits of carbon and little pieces of metal in there and everything else it's just gonna make the oil thicker and thicker and thicker um, and you're gonna have more issues on cold startups too so it's gonna be exaggerated uh, compared to what we're seeing here with clean oil with all that carbon and, and debris in there let's squeeze this one it's still coming out like like uh, syrup though Let's see what we got left in this one. Do another tip. Where's it at? Where's it at? Look at that. Look how that flows. And they're in the same temp. And sitting outside all night together. So, just want to give a little demonstration. I know it's not scientific, but it is a good visual of what's going on inside your engine in these cold uh, temperatures in the winter months uh, in the United States here. And, of course, other countries across the globe. Big difference. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.